talking about world globalization and the call to the creatrix tricks in the world today. So, 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 so I, would I would like, like to, to talk, talk today, today about, about um, us understanding, understanding or overstanding embracing the world globalization. globalization. That is the direction that we're headed in at this time. And the creatrix are being called to take an extra step with the talents, abilities, gifts, and skills because so many people are searching for answers right now and making major, major decisions in their life of how they want to move forward. Finding ways to be independent, and self-sustaining. As I see it, I am a plastic enthusiast, so I recycle plastics into fashion accessories. And with that, knowing that is sustainability. You know, they are using so many ways, and if we would just take the time to even just go to the Discovery Channel, we can learn information about how these things are taking another way in which we embrace it. Different timelines, a lot of moving pieces are happening right now. And people are being asked to step up with the talents, ability, gifts, and skills and become adventurous in a way that they have never been adventurous before. And adventurous is not the old way of thinking of doing the same thing on a different day. That played out. That is so not working anymore. You know, codependency and all is just like poison soaked up in the ground. That is no more room for that. We should not be codependent of anything at this point. I am working on becoming better at my eating habits. I'm okay with my exercise. I need to work on that a little bit more, but I can always, you know, step that up a little bit. But the eating is still my challenge. And I don't, I don't, I know that I will not be defeated because I always did eat healthy, but I need to step it up to another level. And we're being asked to step out of our, un uh, step out of these comfort zones that we have created or uh, manifest in our life and to become uncomfortable and stand in that stuff for a while until we become what we're supposed to become. So again, I spoke on, um, in my, my blog about we all come here with a, a hidden treasure chest inside of us. And it depends on is it going to be on the soul, spiritual, physical, or a, uh, um, emotional level of how we want to bring that out into the world. So, which it takes a lot of courage because to all of a sudden come up out of something that we were a lot of times just conformed into because we needed to fit the norm in the world and so we did that but now we see that a lot of the norms have tricked us it's tricked us and now we have to find a way to unlock our minds from what has been um, conditioned in our life for so long and find better ways of saying, thinking, and doing things, ways that we can help one another, but not become codependent. We have to create our own way, our own abundance. And in abundance, it's not just about money. It's about peace and harmony and joy and all these other great things that we can enjoy as a part of the fruits of our labor. You know, it's no more shoving things under the rug and, you know, making it all seem like it's everything it should be. It's not. Because we will work on ourselves. That is the serious part until our last day. At some point, 
just thinking that we're done, that is not a good space to be in. No, for the people that ask, no, I'm not locking my hair again. I'm just in a protective style. And because I couldn't go to a funeral, I did shave one side of my head in honor of the neighbor that had been uh, my neighbor for a very long time. And I, I thought a lot about her and I honored her presence and all the things that she taught me through life. And um, because of the pandemic, I just made that choice not to go to her funeral. So, um, but that's neither here nor there. I'm still talking about world group books. <laughs> I don't know. I just, why did I drift like that? Okay. And um, so, so if you want to know more about her, go to Grammarly Depot, G R A M M E R L Y D E P O T dot com. And you can also go to my podcast. Um, I'm going to put the link below. I would like you to go because I've been getting very good feedback and personal letters from people that have found a lot of solace in the things that I've been um, putting on my podcast. And it's just where I am right now, um, being in that place where I know that I have to turn around and help the people who are looking to have help. And I'm sorry about that light up there because I had on the, um, I'm not good with this lighting, so I'm working on that. That See, it's always something to work on. And I'm going to keep working on it. That's the good part. So my divine salutes your divine. Namaste. I like to talk about kindfulness. Um, it's just really random acts of being kind. Being pissy all the time is so darn exhausting, really, because we've been all been pissy at some time. And um, we don't even know why we're being pissy. We're just being pissy because we could. So justice, the scales of justice are being served as we speak. So it's about putting that balance back in your life, finding those places that are um, sunken, building those back up, because a lot of times we can build very high walls around us because of low self-esteem. Really, we can build low self things up high from a low self-esteem. It's really sad. And insecurities, I wrote about that on yesterday. So this is being kind to yourself, committing to temperance, being creative, self-love, self-worth, and self-respect. And we have to start with that man in the mirror. We have to start with that one in the mirror. See what that looks like and how you want to be looked at or legacy left behind in this world of being able to have people remember you in a way of being so respected and so loved because you did those things for yourself first. Look deep. Do you like what you see? So that's going to end my presentation today. Um, I'm, I'm working on this. I really am because I do like doing it. I do like the feedback and I do thank the people that have been so kind and gracious to let me know that they appreciate what I'm doing. So I feel like I'm in the right place doing the right thing at the right time. And that's what it's all about. So my divine salutes your divine. Namaste.